hey what's up youtube welcome back to a brand new video today i'll be showing you guys how you can install android on a 32-bit or a 64-bit computer it's very easy so let's get right into it so the first thing you need to do is go to the first link in the description below which will take you here then click on the blue download button now here you can download from OSDN or FOSHUB. Here I have a 64-bit computer so I will be downloading the 64-bit version. Make sure you guys download the correct version for your computer. Next you need to go to the second link in the description below and download Rufus. Now that Rufus has finished downloading, you can check if it works by clicking on it. It may ask for admin privileges, just click on yes. Now you need to insert a pen drive to your computer which is at least 8GB. Now go ahead and open Rufus. Now select the pen drive we just inserted. Next click on select and select the ISO file we just downloaded. Also make sure you don't have any important data on your pen drive as it will be erased. Finally make sure you have selected everything correctly and click on start. Now that it's done, you can eject the pen drive and insert it to the target PC where you want to install Android. Now boot up the computer and go to the boot menu and select your pen drive. Now here use the arrow keys and select installation. Here select the drive where you want to install Android 2. Make sure to select the correct drive because all the data will be lost on that drive. After that follow what I do carefully. At this point remove the pen drive and boot using the drive where you have installed Android. Now as you can see Android is starting. Now the setup screen should be visible and you need to go through it. As the setup is pretty straightforward, I will not be explaining it. Now you need to select the launcher and voila, we are greeted with the classic Android screen. The first thing I would recommend is go to settings. Scroll down and go to Android x86. Here enable the native bridge. This will fix some issues with running apps. After this I will set up my Google account as well as Play Store on it. As you can see I have signed in and all the apps are available. Most of them work, some don't. Here I'll be trying Minecraft. As you can see Minecraft works. 
I am already lost playing Minecraft. Meanwhile, thank you guys ever so so much for watching this video. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel, it really helps me a lot. And again, thank you guys for watching this video, I will see you next time.